Good morning, guys. I am comedian Haley Boyle, and we are still in bed because Robin does not want to get up, and quite honestly, I'm enjoying just laying here. Um, I still haven't showered or changed my clothes, but I have cleaned the house a bit, done some dishes, cleaned my studio. I got a happy baby, happy baby over here. You're real cute, bub, you know that? <coughs> Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about some simple rescue techniques that I've been promising to do for ages and never did and screw it. I'm here. So let's do it. Um, oh, oh. this is not a rescue technique. This is why I need them. Was that your Heidi talking? <laughs> okay. Okay, I talk into the people. You watch your video. Hands to yourself, please. It's really a struggle. Uh <laughs> being being property of a toddler 24-7. Any hoodle, while I have this foot, let's go over this. Um a really easy thing you can do if you feel yourself starting to panic, you think you're getting out of control, your mind is racing, is lower your body temperature. You can go to the sink, splash some cold water on your face, run the cold water over your wrists, um, put some on the back of your neck if you can, dampen a paper towel or a rag, and put it on your head. Um, even stick your face into the freezer for a minute if you don't have any water available because lowering your body temperature, especially drastically, when you're panicking, you're probably hot. Lowering your body temperature will lower your heart rate, and lowering your heart rate makes it easier to calm down and focus your mind, because everything slows down when your heart slows down. Um, oh, another one that's really interesting, and I forget, the, it's something called, I think it's called paired muscle relaxation, and this is a really strange one, and it's sort of counterintuitive, but it's scientifically sound. Um, if you're feeling panic, and you're feeling really, really tense, and you're trying to calm down, um, if you squeeze the muscles really, really tight, they relax more than if you just try to relax them because they, you've exhausted them. So let's say you're feeling yourself panic. If you clench your fists and squeeze your arms as hard as you can and then let them go and take a deep breath, then they will relax more than they would have if you just sat there trying to relax them because you've uh, caused them to be tired. Um, and the third one, and this one, <laughs> the title of it sounds like I'm asking for donations, but I'm not. The third thing is called contributing and it's a real DBT technique and it means doing something good that makes you feel useful. Um, sometimes it just means focusing on someone else's problem so you can get through yours. For example, you're having a crisis, you're having a panic attack, but your friend is also having a crisis. If you focus on their crisis and help them, sometimes it helps you not focus on what's happening with you or if it's a depressive episode or something like that like I actually used to do this all the time when I lived in Manhattan it was easy I could go outside and you can't do this now because of quarantine and I would find someone who looked like they need help you know they had a heavy bag or they're trying to open a door or whatever it was they just look sad just make eye contact and smile contributing to society can make you feel so much better. Like you have a place in this world and like everything's going to be okay and you're useful and valuable. So it can be a contribution if you want to give to charity or you know someone that's struggling and you want to give them something, help them out. Great. If you just want to listen to somebody or give some advice, maybe you have a skill that you can share with people. Anything you can do that makes you feel like you are helping will help you. <sighs> That's why I'm making this right now, because I'm fine. I'm really doing okay, but someone reminded me that a lot of people aren't at the moment, and, you know, this is my contribution. This reminds me that I have a place in this world, and I am useful and valuable and worthwhile, and, and it helps. It helps. It helps to feel like you matter. No, no, no. Beyond just being a punching bag, be nice to your mama, please. What I really, really need to do today is take a shower. So, wish me luck. <laughs> um, shower and a nap. Look at those puffy eyes. My skin's like sandpaper. I need to exfoliate. Mm. 
but I also came up with an idea for a lighted pond today. So it's going pretty good, all things considered. And I am thinking about cruising by the gas station to get us some sweets because we have a little one out here in the country. You can put on a mask, run in real quick, grab a few things because mama made a little money writing jokes for somebody else. Um, I'm actually doing much better financially now that everybody's in quarantine because now that everybody's in quarantine, I'm not getting disqualified for being a single mom. Everyone's working from home, so all of a sudden my talent is back in the forefront and I'm getting hired for shit, so feel free to hire me for your writing job, craft project, punch up, acting, phone acting. That's actually one of my regular jobs when we're not on quarantine is acting over the phone. And no, it's not phone sex, believe it or not. Um, things could be a whole lot worse, okay? Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to try to get this baby out of bed, play outside for a while. Good luck to you. Good luck to me. We got this.